as we are evolving and progressing into the understanding and the realization, what is also very important is your relationship to life. Now, no matter, I understand your relationship to your partner is very important, your relationship to your health is important, your relationship to so many different things are important, but what is most important is relationship into the life. Now, how do people even don't fathom this? They think the life exists on facts, visuals, and so on. But the life is in the present moment. I'm not asking you to forget the past. I'm not asking you to totally forget about the futures. But these are things that is not in the present moment. Now, in the life in the present moment is you have to find that area. What is that for you? Now, for me, after a hard day physical work, um, emotional work, I go to my backyard, which is consists of a lot of plants and greenery. And that is a space that I keep on returning because it gives me to forget about me, forget about the importance of the possession into, we are so much possessed by our egos and identification. So it is very important that there is a place that we totally forget, not photography, not running videos, not running commentary, just that something that brings you more alive and you are in that space. Now, whether that is art for you, whether that is cooking for you, whether that is music for you, you have to find this. Because most of the time, we, our body, especially in the belly, we hold this amazing space and realization and the energy of life, but it is depleted by the past and the future. So there is nothing in that space of Shakti. So we have poor digestion. Ah, we don't digest emotions very well. We have cramps, aches, all these. It's not that they are, they, they, they will not be there even for a person who has realized, but unnecessary parts of this. So we get depleted. So we go for the sugar craving. So we get depleted. Ah, so imagine if someone who is in addiction to drugs, alcohol, sex, and all that, what that person is, the, the person at that very moment is taking a break from himself. So they feel good. But that is not a process that we can entertain because it depletes the energy further than. But that very moment it gives the kick, whether it does it with sugar, whether it does it with something. So observe today, the class is about your addictions to facts and depleted life. So ask yourself, where am I depleting life? And what can I do to return back to this space? And everywhere I go, I look at the nature as I've seen it in the first time and it surrenders me into, and I breathe and I totally have, because at that very moment, I forget about myself. Not in a place of uh, totally running away from something, your past is important, your futures are very important, but what is important is your relationship to life and where you are allowing this to be depleted sub unconsciously. So bring, practice brings that part and practice gives a dose of that. And then you have to find where are other avenues that I can have the same energy. Uh, one of the tricks that I actually do is not a trick, it's like a realization is, I love what I do at that very moment, how much it is physical. And I bring that life into it. I don't think about finishing the work and coming home. If I have to do a little bit more work to bring that love and joy in someone's uh, space, I do that. Regardless of the circumstances, uh, what I am going through or my personality going through or my body going through, I do have respect for those areas. So saying that, Finding a space very gently to thank you to have that relationship with your life in this very moment. And I'll just gently move the camera towards Darren. And hi, Maria. 
So shoulders roll back, taking that deep breath in. And everything can wait. Your personality can wait. Your features can wait. Your past can wait. And very gently you're entering into the relationship of life in this very moment. And you take time for that emotion to give yourself that aliveness that you feel in the gut, you feel in the body. This is very important. But not to figure it out, but just being in that glimpse of the breath feeling for the first time. Body feeling for the first time. Take a deep breath in, shoulders roll back, shrug the shoulders up, fill the head back, massage the back of the skull. And finding that release, breathing out, chin dropping into the chest, belly collapsing into a space of a cat, and releasing these definitions which are not belongs to you. Take a deep breath in that ah, and just shift the consciousness into that space. Tongue roll up onto the upper palate, energy gaze onto the space. Breathe out, collapse that, collapse into the space of the cat. Now take a deep breath in, elongate the spine, twisting the spine to the right side, stomach very gently pulling in, just don't look at what you can do, what you can't do, just having that relationship free from the drama, free from the story, free from those emotions of the past and the future. But present emotion, acknowledge of being alive, back into the center. Change the formation of the legs for me. You have to take that deep breath in, breathing out, twisting the spine onto the opposite direction. So allowing the body to take all these shapes, moments of the present, where the creativity, where you know what it means to be in this very moment and have one emotion of the present back into the center. Now gently stretch the neck for the right side and allow that tension of the left shoulder blade, shoulder, left arm, and release that tension that you were carrying about the past and the future. Now it allows you to see what is not important. Back into the center, stretch the neck under the opposite direction. Coming into that emotion for life, emotion. Back into the center. Now you look into this present moment, there is something alive, the electricity. Now if you are not in this present moment, that energy will go to the past and the future. And you're creating a content of a story. And just observe this duality. Now very gently left leg stretch into the back, keep the right hip on the pigeon toes. Shoulders roll back, 
let the breath of that vibration of the present moment come as the Turiya, the music, the body. Now you could see that you have suddenly slowed down the depletion of your future. That energy is being taken out. Energy is being taken out for the past and constantly the comparison of the past and the future. But I'm sure that you're doing this within the right intent. But you're wasting, depleting your treasures. Now elbows drop, walk those palms, release the tension. Now it is exactly like a pain for a name, pain for an ad. Constantly paying and depleting from the present world. I wonder why you are depleted. I wonder why you are depleted. Because you are depleted from the relationship to life. Because you are paying for something that is not real. Me, my gender, my religion, my this, my that, my this, my that. Take a deep breath in, very gently coming back. Coming back physically, coming back mentally, coming back emotionally into that present moment. How your body is holding without the story. Not that energy that you are for this or not, or I have to go, I will do, I later and where, whatever. Plank. Stronger on the pelvic flow, get a good elongation into the energy of the spine. Back of the head, back of the neck is important. There is a body so called, called back. I'm feeling all those areas. Very gently drop the knees. Give a rotation to the hips. Activate the space of the spine and the hips and the digestion. And bring in that space into a sattvic place. So it's not totally rajasvic or tamasic. means sluggish. Onto the other side. All healing begins from this space. Wider rotation. And important is the commitment into this space. Stretch the spine completely, breathe out. Allow the body to feel the energy of releasing things. So the understanding and the realization come collectively when you release the breath. There is a different sensation. And after releasing, when you draw the breath back, there is a different. Now palms facing down if you are still with the palm facing up, crawling and bringing the chest into the floor. Breathing into a up face. Shoulders relax. Feeling that freedom to gravitate the body. Without towards the down face. Very gently down face. We are not going to stay in this down face. We are going to get the left foot into the front onto the pigeon pose. Now, in this very moment, you could see when your relationship into the present moment with the life, what is happening? Shoulders relax, just open, take a deep breath in, let out, drop the elbows, walk those palms very gently into the palm. Now, in this very moment, there is a, a different beauty. There is a different feeling. There is emotion to life. 
and living. In this very moment, just observe the polarities of the mind has settled down, so they are not making words or not trying to figure it out, what this is, finding a psychological answer, not finding spiritual answers for that. Nothing. There is nothing needed. You're suddenly overwhelmed by the practice, Toria, the Leela, but doesn't have to take notes. The note is being in this person. Because you're not there now. Totally your relationship is there without a separation. You have become one with it. Take a deep breath in. Gently coming back. Shoulders relax. You are now experiencing what real life in your plan. Strong on the pelvic flow. Drop the knees, stretch the spine, and give some time. What is now happening? Your first time you're starting forgetting about yourself. This happens with nature, this happens with art, this happens with music, this happens with thunder. The first time you forget about yourself and there is a surrender to the relationship with life. This happens when we see animals. Suddenly we forget about things. Babies, the laughter. And that very moment, God is there, but you are not there. Because if you're there, you still run a commentary, a story. Even for a time, you suddenly lose the capacity of the language. You make sounds in some language. You could see when you touch a little baby, you just make sounds for no reason. Suddenly the sound of the relationship of life is coming into the manifestation through your body. Not being smart, not being cunning, not being right, not avoiding wrong. Try to get doses of this in life. Arms facing down. Crawling and bringing the chest into the front. Now I'm allowing you to take a gentle cobra, a love. Come into a gentle cobra. Just read the moment. Whether you're feeling the senses of the space, whether you are just you become your whole. Make this is part of your life habit. Overlook into the left. Back to the center. Overlook into the right. Back to the center. 
relax the dead eye onto the floor. Now take a deep breath in. Bring that left knee onto the left side of the chest or away from the chest. Bring high as possible and open up the body. And finding a way to feel the body, whether you are feeling the space of the mat, space of the tile. Say nothing. Just have that relationship to that feeling and the sensation because you activate in the body as a relationship to life. But your commitment has to be to be there with it. There is one and you're one with it. Be in the moment and have one emotion to feel life. Back to the center, relax the body, stretch the leg back where it was, and bring the other knee to the chest onto the other side. So stretch the arms, stretch the legs, take a deep breath in. Now, hypothetically, if this was not there, what would be there at this moment? I bet it is a fear about future, fear about your body, fear about your health, fear about your loved ones, fear about your finances. But now, you are in a relationship with something that has not been touched before. not used before. Otherwise, you give this power to people to entertain you. All this is happening. Politicians are entertaining you. The media are entertaining you. Singers are entertaining you. Religions are entertaining you. Separations are entertaining you. Stories are entertaining you. I'm sure you have valid reasons to get entertained by this. But depleting life. Back into the center. Stretch your body, arm stretch into the front, arm stretch into the back. Uh, the feet stretch into the back, shoulders relax. Now, instead of asking how to be with the present, you're releasing things that are no longer serving you. Now you're activating the Shakti as a which was dormant, basically getting used by the mind constantly. Back in the center and relax. Arms onto the chest level, take a deep breath into a gentle up face. Breathe out towards the down face. Let that giggle pass into all the cells and allow the life to be a laughter. Laughter. Laugh and just the primordial energy of 
not separated love to everything. Now very gently bring the left leg up. Left knee to the chest, breathe out. Switch the leg back. Left knee onto the left elbow. Switch the leg back. Left knee onto the right elbow. Switch the leg back. Left foot into the front. I'm switching to the back. Arms raise onto the crown. Spread the wings wider, breathing in into the pranam position. Bring, become the bender of the air, become the bender of the foam, become the bender of the water, apo, tejo, vayo, but we all those elements. Now opening up into the Virabhatrasa. All healings comes from inside. Use your power to see the unity. Gentle arch. Back into the center. Elbow onto the knee. Right arm reaching up. Right, reaching into the back. First time reaching into the front, up to the ceiling. Releasing the tension of the dominance that is depleting our energy into the mind to dominate everything. We are dominating the earth, we are dominating the everything. I don't have to go into the past. Reaching into the back, that's me. I'll drop the back knee and holding onto the front knee. Come into the space of all that domination is released and coming into the space of healing with unity with this present moment. In this present moment, when you engage so much into the tune of the life, there will be no separation. Now take a deep breath in. Coming into the Garudasana, right arm on the top. Let your outer dominance soften and the shell and the seed will open for healing. You have so much barriers. Nothing is growing in this past and the future because it's a dead ground. Uh, you're asking me the healing. I'm now giving you the technique. Like the mother and the womb and the child. It is one with. The baby, think as the healing, is getting energized by what you're saying to it, what you're feeding into it, because it's one umbilical code. So every cells have energetically umbilical code that is connecting when you're releasing your fears, you're connecting into that. Let that heal. Once you come into that realization, take a deep breath in, spread the wings wider, and touch the pole. Like a phoenix. Nature and grow with it. Nothing inside, in a deep level, of a different identity. 
So bring that dose of life in this present moment into a plan. Stronger on the power we flow, stronger on the unity. Lift me onto the floor. Right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Clinch and unclinch, release any tension. Give any doorways for the static to leave, right reaching into the back. Drop the knees completely, breathe out to the space of the cat. Breathing in, tongue roll up onto the upper palate, energy gaze onto the chidakasha. Let the space have a giggle, let the space have a laughter. A body that cannot laugh, joy is a space of cruel, where negative energy accumulates to cause further wars, further separation. Breathing out, breathing in, breathe out, breathing in, neutral spine, left arm reaching up to the ceiling, left arm reaching under the armpit, drop in the shoulder blade, releasing the tension. Whatever is now you're doing in this very moment, after this space, will come into a space of love and bliss. That's why people who have joy of doing things, whether it's a garden, whether it's cleaning, whether it's singing, whether it's painting, they are doing from this relationship to the life. And this is where they are gaining the energy and find for you whether it's what it is for you. What is that your inner body starts singing, inner body start dancing, inner body start laughing, giggling, in an aspect of your being. Let it be in this present moment, the relationship to life. Whatever it is. For me, it's watering plants, doing rituals, cleaning. But for you, so in this very moment, listen to the practice with that love and understanding. Don't bring your psychology, don't bring your facts, don't bring your science. There are so many things happening. Did you fall in love because of facts and science and education? Body is giving you in this very moment when you come into this life, in this practice, gently coming back, shoulders relaxing. Now look at little, 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 little details that when in the present moment that you're getting answers for life, whether you're looking at nature, whether you're looking at paintings, whether you're listening to something, whether you're in the practice. Okay. I'll give a good rotation to the hips. Wide rotation to the other side. Push the hips into the front, into the back, and stretch the spine. Take this very moment to understand the essence of healing. Your spirit needs to find that space of love being that essence. Let that energy of yours being moved from hell unless we help the others. We help ourselves.
when we help others, we help ourselves. Whatever the word you want to call, whatever the action you want. Anyone can be totally out of the path. So your intention to help that person brightens their path to show them what they need to see. Arms facing down, crawling and bringing the chest into the front, take a deep breath in, a gentle up face. Gentle down face. Right leg up into the back. Right knee to the right chest. Right stretch back, right knee to the right elbow. Right stretch, right knee to the left elbow. Right foot into the front. Arm switch into the back. Arms raise onto the crown, breath out, spread the wings wider and coming into the pranam position. Sit deeper. And very gently you're coming into the space of the Virabhadra asana. We are releasing that perpetual conflict inside the story of the past and the future. And we are having a relationship into that present moment with the light. We are letting go the agreements and disagreements. Take a mudra, take a breath of life, release the conflict. Gentle arch. Gently coming back, elbow arm to the knee. Stretching up to the ceiling. And your relationship with the other is in the conflict. This is when you are in the present moment. It is letting it go, taking the space of the unity. Otherwise, man, woman, conflict, rich, poor, conflict, black, white, conflict, teacher, student, conflict, stretch the arm into the back and touch the floor. Deep breath in, right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Into the back, touch the floor, hold the front knee, shoulders relaxed. If you don't deep breath in to understand this perpetual struggle of conflict, if you are not with the relationship to life in this present moment. Otherwise, husband and wife in the same house with two different identities, oneself with that something that they believe was wrongly conditioned, conflict with the other because it resists at any price. I'll switch on to the side, left arm on to the top, holding in that space of the gardas. Now this is the time we have to be very gently relaxing, getting away from what expression is out there on its own ways, what ambitions are out there on its own ambition. And very gently you're having that conflict release and coming into the present moment. Immense waste of energy. 
take a deep breath in when you come into this realization of the unity. Understand everything. You don't have to understand everything when you understand this Mula Dharma. Why do I carry on this way? In that energy of this present moment. Spread the wings wider and evolve out of this conflict. Otherwise, it will always have conflict with the nature, conflict with this, conflict with that. When you are conflict, you are accustomed to be conflict with the whole life. Stronger in the pelvic flow, coming into a gentle life. I love the plan to have no conflict. Are you in that position? Drop the knees. Deeply breathe out to the cat. Breathing into the bow. Breathe out. Breathe in. Neutral spine now. Right arm reaching up to the ceiling. Under the left arm. In that very moment. Now through this realization, through this conflict, you have understood something. Because that you are rationalizing things. If you look at this duality, everything is struggling. Everything is in conflict. Everything has, someone has to win. So the psychology of the mind, you have to win from the ill health. You have to win to be rich. But that is not in real reality where the life exists. So the energy is limited. Energy controls all thoughts. Now looking, not looking, there is a realization. Therefore, it's constantly removed. Things no longer serve. Now, very gently coming back, shoulders relaxed. Completely breathe out to the cat. Breathing in tongue roll up onto the energy power, the energy gaze onto the third eye. Breathe out.
mutostyne give a good rotation to the hips wider rotation to the other side neutral Stretch the spine into the back, coming into a child flow. Now understanding today about being releasing the tensions of conditioning, thoughts, conditioning patterns, conditioning conflict. Not because someone has tremendous influence, they are the sole keepers of the truth. This goes to politics. This goes to all level corporations. This goes to so many levels. Out of our ignorance, we give powers to others because we don't want to do the work ourselves. Crown of the head onto the floor, lift up the buttocks. Roll back onto the third eye now. The fist is on the third eye. The dogma deeply involved in so many areas. Now, when you have the relationship to the life in the present form, no longer these systems need to support your well-being. Because otherwise you are being entertained about the idea of being rich, entertained of idea being this, that, entertained about the idea of a future. Future belongs to someone who have a present relationship with life. And that life is not separated. It is not taken from some to give life to you. It has become the tradition, but these are now coming into, people are realizing more and more what is their nature of. So they are inquiring more because they are no longer let others entertain them. Now that space is only happening from the silence, the space. But the intelligence itself, which is born from compassion, understanding and realization. Cut the spine one vertebra at a time. When this realization happens, that this realization to the energy of the spine, I won't use words anymore because it can go into that conflict again. Let merge into that one space observer. And of the when there is no division between the thinker and the thought. Uh, 
I'm very gently searching next to the right and left. Back into the center. To the other side. And very gently, you can come into a seat in posture. Now take a note, mean into that, without the conflict of this or that, belief or the fear, the suffering or the pleasure, right or wrong, angry or not angry, happy or not happy. At the present moment, you are not otherwise. And this level is not it is unbiased, whatever it is happening. The moment you're biased, what is happening, then you have separated into two. So you can watch anything without having the talk without having the separation, because when you are biased, story begins, but when you're unbiased, at this very moment, you exist in the actuality of life and the relationship. You have really eliminated altogether the conflict. Division has ended. Wastage of energy is no longer there. Past is energy. You no longer have to spend it on it. Theta is an energy. You no longer have to spend it on it. Or Observe it without the conflict. Now the mind does not try to fight itself. There is no maya, illusion. Otherwise, it is the same mind fighting against and wanted to recover again. Same mind destroying and want to recreate. Stop the brain fighting. Now you have tremendous energy coming from that space of the belly and not getting used.
the energy that is not dissipated at all, wasted. This is very, 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 very important to understand. Take a deep breath in. Arms rest onto the crown, cleansing the space. The aura of this intelligence, colors of this intelligence, which is unconditionally uniting everything in space of love. Giggle and laughter. And realize Palms on the ground, third eye, throat, heart, solar plexus, navel, motivation. Palms raised onto the crown, cleansing the space and the aura. For taking the break from yourself stops the conflict. Touch the earth, respect for the material formation dimension of this space. A part of our soul is taking refuge. And we're coming out of that space to Namaskar position of this realization without the conflict. And unity when the palms comes together, right and left has come together. Light and dark has come together. Right and wrong has come together. Rich and poor has come together. All these conflicts. So. There's a different intelligence waking up in you. The subtle one, no, I think. So, as you see, the practice itself. has allowed you if you need to analyze something, analyze from a space where it's not separated. There is a higher intelligence. I'm not saying you're not to analyze things, not to separate things, but separate without the condition of the separation is a very highly intelligent space to understand this realization. Yeah. It is very important. The word is very limited, the body is very limited, the minds are very limited. Yeah. But when you come into this realization, you stop where it is depleting. Yeah. No much money we have, if we have ways of depleting it, there is no wealth harmony in there. No matter what amount of health and youth you that you have, if there are ways that it is depleting, then you have not come into the realization. No matter how many people we have and we want to have relationships, but we are destroying of those relationships, then we have not come into this realization. Huh? We live in under one roof, but if we don't have that giggle and the laugh and we are separating and we are picking up on each other even in the fact of spiritual context. And there is no unity. So this is very important in life to stop this conflict and depletion of energies. As I say, most of this energy is depleted by thoughts and emotions. 
and your true emotion is the emotion to that present moment, whatever that you contain life, feeling things, not just this and that and futures and the past and constantly future and the past create a conflict to have a chat. And that chat grows into deplete furthermore energy. And at that very moment, it's not against you, it is giving you, you are going in the wrong track. You need some light in your path because now you're traveling through the struggles because you're creating furthermore illusions and distractions for yourself, whether it's health, whether it's wealth, whether it's relationships. You have to find where you get lost. Now, in, uh, in, in, in let's say, if it was love making, why it is so addicted if that is done in the right way? Because you lose yourself and you become with the other. It is the same way when someone has alcohol, you take a break from you, but it is not the right way. Uh, if you're not getting in the space of the spirit, understand you will have the spirit of alcohol. You will have the food. You will have this and that. But without the conflict, you can bring them into that unity and start living the life in a bit more better way. It is not, I don't want to live 100 years. If tomorrow my life in the existence of this physical form diminishes it, I have lived life of that understanding. At the same way, you have to give space to observe your fears and observe the securities you're building out of fear are not realities. They are only going to deplete you. And start living life and enjoying the rest of the day. And so I'd love to see you all, Rebecca Das and the beautiful son and the pets. And Sylvia's new pets, uh, very good that you gave her shelter to hear the story. Uh, and Liz and Maria and Sage and everybody, Pamela. Love to you all, big hugs. And I'll see you soon. Love to you all. Take good care.